name's Alex, and I'm going to show you how to make smoke effects in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. And you're going to want to make sure that you have a dark background um, per se. I mean, you don't have to, but it'll show up a lot better. And then you just go to your paintbrush, and you pick white, and then make your brush however big you want. It's, it helps to have a softer brush, because it just makes it easier to A, draw it, and B, soften it. So, and I have my, um, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little doodle here of some smoke. And then just kind of, okay, and then what you can do is use the smudge tool, and I like to make it big so that way you can kind of play around with a lot of the area. So I'm just going to go ahead and poof that up. And so people do it differently. Uh, the way I like to do it is to treat the smoke like clouds. stretch this out a little bit. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I can burn some stuff. Um, I'm going to use the burn tool. And you hold this down and get to burn tool. And select highlights because white is really tricky to burn. And I'm going to use a soft brush. And I'll just go ahead and burn some of this. Um, actually, you know what, since I don't have a gray background, I'm just going to go ahead and erase it. So I have the eraser tool. I'm going to turn the opacity down to about half, so 50. And then I'm going to choose a different brush. And then I'm just going to start erasing around. And I'm actually going to turn the opacity down even more. So that way it doesn't erase all of the smoke. I'm going to go ahead and just erase a bunch so you get that kind of smoky look. There you can have your smoke effect that way. And you know, play around with the shape because smoke is kind of one of those ribbony sort of substances that kind of moves with air. So it helps to kind of have a shape as I've erased. And so there's a bit of smoke just as an example. So that's one way. And then the other way you can do it is just to go to filter render and clouds and that's going to give you a just a general cloudy area and you can add that on top of any photo or anything you want to make it look smoky. My name is Alex and this is how you make smoke effects in Photoshop. Thank you.